if you like to eat, that's where you want to go. It was just overwhelming food. Oh, that was a very, very famous place. You go there and you eat all the crabs you wanted and all the shrimp, whatever was the, the seafood in season. And, uh, oh, the food was wonderful. Oh, no, I like it boiled. I just could eat boiled shrimp all day. <laughs> just eat it all day. San Jacinto Inn is a culinary memory revered by thousands of Houston area residents of a certain age. It was unquestionably a local institution, one that dated back to World War I. The San Jacinto Inn first started when Jack and his wife Bertha uh, Sanders uh, started a small restaurant. It was actually on the north side of the ship channel near Lynchburg. And they had only five tables. Uh, Jack would do the fishing, would, would get seafood. He'd also hunt for, for firewood along the, the, water, the water. And then his wife would cook. Uh, that was 1918. That first small seafood stand burned and was relocated in 1919 to a spot which would later make it a next door neighbor to the battleship Texas. The big break came in 1925 when the International Advertising Club came to Houston and they had, they served 5,000 people, they had to do it outside along the riverbank, they set up picnic tables, and they hired a hundred students from Milby High School to serve the food. Uh, there was no way they could all fit, fit in. But the advertisers did a good job for them. That they let the world know, know about the restaurant, and after that, uh, it became a very popular place to go. The lure of the place never changed. Good food at a great price. The food was one dollar, all you could eat for adults. It stayed that way until the 1930s when it jumped up to two dollars. We would take four or five couples and go out there and eat. And the price was so reasonable, you couldn't, you couldn't resist it. Fire again destroyed the restaurant. And the place that re-emerged in 1927 was the iconic two-story building that so many of us miss. One constant at San Jacinto Inn was the impeccable service. A lot of the waiters who worked there worked there for years and years. There were some for 30 or 40 years, and a lot of them were part of that family. Uh, when th they started getting a little bigger, uh, they hired uh, Jim and Emma Sanders, the, the brother-in-law, to come and be the host and hostess, but uh, Bertha still kept charge of the kitchen. And she kept charge of the kitchen until 1952 when she died. Um, a lot of the waiters knew uh, the, the customers who returned and knew their likes and dislikes and were, were ready to, to provide them exactly what they, what they wanted. The inn, of course, predated the nearby San Jacinto Monument. In fact, when the base of the monument required 57 hours of continuous concrete pour, it was the inn which served workers sandwiches and coffee every four hours. But it wasn't sandwiches that brought diners to this place. It was all about the family-style menu. But it never varied in what you got to eat when you went out there. You know, you got the shrimp, and you got the fried chicken, and the biscuits. The menu was pretty much set in the 20s. Uh, it, it started with, with celery, kind of a relish tray. Then uh, there were oysters, uh, or uh, if it was summer, they didn't have oysters, they, ha they had crab instead. Oysters, shrimp, um, fried fish, chicken, biscuits, jam, uh, that they kind of maintained that, that menu th through its whole, whole time period. Everybody got the same thing, and as much of it as they wanted. And at least one San Jacinto Inn menu item lives on. Biscuits. They're, they handed out recipe cards of biscuits. They were, were very, very popular. Um, in fact, if you Google today, you will find San Jacinto in Biscuits, the recipe online. After 70 years of making happy diners loosen their belts, the San Jacinto Inn closed its doors in 1987. But the mention of the name will still bring a smile to longtime Houstonians. It was very southern service, but absolutely fantastic food. You know, when visitors came into town, you took them to the San Jacinto Inn because that was supposed to be a very typical of, of Houston. And when it closed, you know, I think people just really, really mourned it. That's it for now. Thanks for watching.